Hey guys, welcome to the third episode in my deep dive into masking. Today we're going to be talking about SVG and how you can achieve masking and clip paths within SVG content. So let's dive in. To start out, you can see I have this SVG file, this illustration that I made in Adobe Illustrator and just copy and pasted into an HTML file. We've got this little guy bobbing up and down and I'm just doing that with the CSS animation. So if we go into the code, you can see all the SVG content that was pasted in as well as our CSS animation. So I just have this animation that's animating the character's Y position up and down infinitely and it eases in and out over the course of one second. So the first thing I want to do is create a clip path. And this is going to be a vector shape that's going to adjust the opaque and transparent parts of this SVG content. So we do this by going into our defs, and these are where we define elements of our SVG that aren't actually used in the illustration, but we still want to reference. So we create a clip path element and give it an ID, in this case, my clip path. Then the contents of this is going to contain the shapes and paths that are going to define our clip path. So inside it, I'm just going to create a rectangle that's going to start at the beginning of the illustration and go to about 500 pixels in. So this rectangle is going to sort of chop this illustration in half. So then we go into the element of our SVG that we actually want the clip path applied to so we give it this clip path attribute and set it to the URL with the ID of that clip path. So my clip path. Then we can go in and test this and you can see that it's actually chopping that illustration in half. So we're getting this clip path to adjust the opacity of our content. We can go back in and change that width value of our clip path and you can see it gets bigger. And we can do this with more than just rectangles. This could really be any shape. We could do circles or draw our own complex paths and use those as clip paths. So next I wanna show you masking. So masking is different from a clip path in that clip path is either opaque or transparent, whereas masks can be semi-transparent so that you can have much more complex um, gradiated transparency within masks. So let's go in and remove our clip path from our scene object and then we're going to go back into our defs and create a mask element and we're going to give this the id my mask then we're going to draw some content in here we're going to draw a rectangle with a fill of gray and then we're going to draw a circle over it with a fill of white so this uses a luma mask and what this is going to do is where the rectangle covers it is going to be semi-transparent, maybe 50% opacity, and then the circle is going to be 100% opaque. So then if we add a, our mask to the SVG content, again, using the mask attribute and the URL with the reference to the ID, my mask, then we can go in and test this, and you can see we have a semi-transparent image, so that's where our rectangle, our gray rectangle is drawn. And then we have our circle completely opaque where our little guy is animating up and down. We can also combine clip paths and masks. So we can go in and add our clip path back to that same SVG element. And you can see we have both our clip path and mask applied to that content. You can also do other interesting things like animate these or that contents of these masks or clip paths or the shape of the clip path. Really the possibilities are endless. So now I want to show a cool animation technique you can use with masking in SVG. So here you can see we have the word hello written out in the scripty font. And what I want to have happen is I want these strokes to actually draw themselves in. And we're going to use a mask to reveal these strokes. So what I'm going to do here in Illustrator is actually use the pen tool and draw paths along the strokes that I want it to draw. So we'll go through the H and draw each of those strokes and then for the rest of it we're going to draw in one long stroke that covers the contours of the text as I want it drawn in. 
So then I'm gonna select all that content in Illustrator and just copy and paste it into my HTML document. Then what I'm gonna do is take those paths that I drew at the end of the SVG document and copy and paste those into a mask element inside of my defs tag. Then I'm going to add a mask attribute to the group that all of my letters are in and simply apply that mask to it with the same ID. So now if we go in and preview it, it should have all the letters drawn in. Now it looks like it didn't copy over um, the stroke or the stroke of my lines were too small. So what I need to do is go in and adjust the stroke width of all of my paths inside of my mask and then add those to 10. So then it should reveal all of the text. So the lines will be thick enough to show the font. Now we're gonna animate these paths with some libraries. So I'm going to go ahead and include the CDN for Tween Max and a draw SVG plugin for Tween Max that's going to make it easier for us to draw these paths in. Now to get this plugin, you have to be a GreenSock member, but it's a super cool plugin. So if you use this kind of effect a lot, it's definitely worth having in your tool set. So now we're going to add our tween. And this is going to be a stagger tween because we want each of the paths to animate in sequence. So one after the other. So we go tween max stagger from two, and then we do our query selector. So we reference the ID my mask and then path, because we're selecting each path within this mask. Then this is going to animate over 0.2 seconds, so each path is going to draw in at 0.2 seconds. Then we're going to leverage the draw SVG plugin and adjust its property so that it, at the beginning, each line is going to be drawn in at 0%. Then we go to the two property and set draw SVG to 100%. So they're going to draw in from zero to 100%. Then we simply add some easing. And then we're going to set the offset between each animation. Then if we preview that, you can see that we get each stroke drawing in one after the other, starting at our H, each of those strokes draw in, and then the rest of the letters draw in together. So as you can see, this is pretty neat use of masks within SVG to reveal the drawing in of this scripty text in a cool animation. And I'm sure you can imagine a ton of other great uses for SVG and animating masks and clip paths within your content. So that's it for my episode on masking in SVG. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see more stuff like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks.